I want to talk about assignment 1.6, question 16. This is a very difficult question to explain without going through how to do it. So in the lecture videos, I did graph a step function. You can go back and see that by hand. But here we're still graphing a step function. There's three pieces. The first piece were 0 if x is less than or equal to 1. So we need to graph that first. In order to do that, we're going to use, there's three choices for lines. This middle choice is a line segment that starts and ends. There's also a clear button, very important. The first choice is a line that does not start and end. It goes on forever in both directions. And the third choice is what we call ray. It's a line that has a starting point. Oh, I guess there's two of them. It has a start, uh, but the other point keeps going forever. So it's a line that goes forever in one direction. All right, we're about to graph this step function. This zero, this is a horizontal line right on the x-axis, but we have to be careful if x is less than or equal to negative one. So because there's no minimum value, x just has to be smaller or equal to negative one. Here's negative one, we're gonna to go to the left right here. It doesn't matter where these red points are exactly, uh, well, it doesn't matter where the one on the left is. If you can move it until you choose the next, if I click on one of these, I can no longer move the last one I put down. So I do have a height zero, but now I have to say, make sure x is less than or equal to negative one. And this right here, negative one, so that is in the right spot. Oh no. And if you do happen to click by accident once, as long as you click out of here, it cancels your line. Okay, so I'm happy with this line over here. It is important it doesn't stop at negative four. It goes off, it goes all the way left off the screen. So now we're gonna do the middle piece right here. That's actually really tricky. It is a line with a slope of negative one and a y-intercept of negative one. So it has a y-intercept of negative one. The slope is negative one, which means you go right one, down one, right one, down one. The other thing to notice, it does not go on forever in either direction. So we're only going negative one to two x values. So we have to choose this line segment. So I got my x-intercept negative one. I'm gonna go over one, down one, right there. This is not uh, completely correct. It, it does have the right intercept and the right slope, but we have to stop at x equals two, which would be here, keeping the negative one slope and I have to move over the left endpoint to negative one. We can see that right there. So now I have, starting at negative one, going to two, I have this line graphed. The last step is down here. Step the third piece of the function, y equals negative one, that's a horizontal line. Negative one is gonna be right one unit below the x-axis. We have to pay attention to the x values we're gonna start at two, but there is no largest x value, so it needs to go on forever to the right. So we have to use, again, the ray. So we're gonna start here at negative one, uh, y value of negative one, go to the right. Doesn't matter where the second point is, it can be even right, even that close. That's fine, as long as this line goes off to the right forever. Do not hit submit yet, there's one more important thing. Be sure to include closed or open dots, but only at the breaks in the graph. So there are two different pieces meeting right here. However, they line up perfectly. So these instructions do not say that we need to put any circles or dots here. We do have to put circles and dots here. So we need to figure out which one we should use. A dot means that point's on the graph. A circle means that point is not on the graph. So if we look at the third piece, negative one, x is greater than two. So that means right here, there is a circle. So we do not include that point on the graph. The second piece, when x is equal to two, we're actually on the second piece. And that's really important. The only difference is it's that little equal sign right at the bottom. And this is not, this is just greater than, it's not greater than or equal to. So because when x equals two, we're on piece two, 
I need to do a filled dot here. So this is how uh, you should do this step function. And, and when you're graphing uh, with line segments, this is how you're going to do it. Uh, where's my submit? Oh, I already submitted it correctly. But I promise you, this is what I hit submit with and got full credit. So as long as you're careful and put your open and closed dots in the right place and your pieces are in the right place, uh, you should be OK. What you don't want to do if, if this is supposed to go on forever, it would not go on forever if you just went from here to here. Even though it gets close to the edge of the graph, it doesn't actually go past the red dot, which is a problem. If you put an extra piece on the graph, you do have to start over. And uh, I don't know what to say, but that's just unfortunate. These are tedious, but just keep trying and you'll get them.